Hi everyone, my name is Corey, and I wanted to thank you for taking some time out of your day today to come and listen to me chat with you for hopefully not too long. I'll try to keep this short and sweet, but I just wanted to say thank you and let's get this started. So again, my name is Corey and my family lives in Tri-Cities, Washington. We used to live in Seattle up until about a year and a half ago and moved to the other side of the state. Um, my husband is a college basketball referee and I have three daughters, ages 14, 11, and five, and I'm a nurse. And for me, Choosing to start um, paying attention to the chemicals that, and the toxins that I was bringing into my home was kind of a bit of a process. It did not happen overnight for me, and it really wasn't until after the birth of my youngest daughter that I even like cared or that I even realized that maybe I should care. And after the birth of our youngest, who has some um, medical conditions, I really became more mama bear concerned than I was prior to having her. And I know all of us moms, we always want to protect our children and do the best for our children. And I thought I was until I realized that I had a whole lot to learn. So after the birth of our youngest, I um, I just started opening my eyes to um, the foods that we were eating, the amount of sugar that we were putting into our bodies, and the chemicals that I was using in my whole home. Now, I used to be a pretty avid coupon clipper. Any of you coupon clippers? I loved getting that Sunday paper, going through all the coupons, looking at the sales, and um, lining up my purchases based on the sales to match maximize my shopping experiences to save money. Now, we all know that those things um, that we're getting for free or cheap really are not the safest for us. And actually, maybe we don't all know that because at the time I was doing it, I didn't know. And to be honest with you, I was at a point in my life where probably if somebody had told me, oh, you really shouldn't be using that, I probably wouldn't have paid attention because it was more important to me at that point in my life to save money than it was to pay attention to what I was exposing my family to. So our generation today has serious problems when it comes to the toxins that we are exposed to. Food is different than it was when our parents and our grandparents were our age. Um, there's GMOs and pesticides. So many toxic chemicals are lurking in our personal care products, the products that we're choosing to clean our homes with, what we're putting in our bodies, on our skin, and choosing to breathe in our air, all has serious, significant health consequences that um, and we honestly don't even know all of the results for. What we do know is that there are so many instances of cancer these days. Um, the American Cancer Society has statistics that say only 5 to 10% of cancer cases are, are genetic. So that would mean the other 5 to 10% of cancer is relatively within our control. Has to do with the foods we're eating, the level of activity that we are doing or choosing not to do, and what we are choosing to put in and on our bodies and breathe into our lungs. So there are so many things that we can be doing to help ourselves, but instead we tend not to because it's either more convenient not to, or maybe we just don't know, or maybe we just haven't started to care yet. Did you know that in the United States, there are over 5,500 hospitals? Isn't that crazy? Over 5,500 hospitals. And I'll tell you, it's not because we're a healthy nation. Those hospitals are there because we are sick. There are so many sick people. And um, for those of you who know me, um, the 15 years that I've been a nurse have been focused primarily on um, taking care of moms and babies during um, labor and after they, they deliver. So I've been a labor and delivery nurse and just recently I started a new job in addition to being a labor and delivery nurse and I am now taking care of patients in their homes. I'm a visiting nurse for um, retired Department of Labor workers and it's just really opened my eyes to what our elderly population is dealing with as far as the medications that they um, they are taking. Did you realize? I don't know. I didn't really realize it because my whole experience has been taking care of very young and healthy people, but um, the average 80-year-old uh, can take up to 20 pills a day. 
That's crazy to me. And it's for like every system of their body. They're taking all of these medicines and like they're in their 80s. So, I mean, who's to say maybe they took great care of themselves when they were younger. However, um, I don't know. It scares me to think that they have to take so many medications and it's hard for them to even um, remember most of the time. And it's also hard for them to afford it. So my eyes are just wide opened that if they were living in a time where they weren't exposed to as many toxins as far as like cleaning supplies and personal care products as we are today, what's our trajectory going to look like if we're exposed to all of these things now and then we get into our 80s and our daily pill regimen is like 40 pills. It's crazy to me. So I am kind of on my own personal mission here to keep myself, my family as healthy as we possibly can be so that when we are older, we don't have to have so many pills to remember to take or have to take them. I mean, Western medicine is there for a certain purpose. It is so important that we have it. We are so blessed that we have 5,500 hospitals in our country, but it's there when we need it. And if we can empower ourselves to take some control over our health, then hopefully we can change our tra trajectory and live healthier lives. All right, so that kind of goes, let's talk a little bit about some of these toxins. Um, Off-gassing is a big deal when it comes to inhaling um, chemicals and toxins. So have you ever noticed when you walk down that grocery store aisle that has all of the cleaning supplies, how fragrant it is? And have you ever stopped to think, why does it smell so strong when nothing is even open? The boxes aren't open, the containers aren't open, and yet all of those chemicals, I don't know about you, when I walk down those aisles, like my eyes start to sting, I get sinus pressure, I get a headache, and I know I'm not the only one because I hear stories all the time of people just cannot stand those aisles, and it just makes you um, wonder if it's so strong in that aisle, oh my gosh, when you open the product, it's just even crazier. And a lot of the toxins in these products are actually um, endocrine disruptors. Now, endocrine disruptors are hormone disruptors, and we all know if we get a hormone out of whack, then one hormone goes out of whack. It's like a little um, progression here. Everything else gets out of whack too. And a lot of these um, hormone disruptors fall into the category of xenoestrogens or xenoestrogens, and these mimic what estrogen does in our body. Now, these xenoestrogens can be found in parabens, in fragrances, and BPA, so many other things. But the big one is like fragrances because we, um, as consumers, don't know what is in fragrance, the ingredient fragrance. Companies don't have to tell us because it's proprietary information. So anything that has fragrance on it, just be very cautious of that because it is highly likely it has xenoestrogens in it or other hormone disruptors that wreak havoc on our systems. So just being aware of that and steering clear of fragrance, you also have to steer clear of um, products that are labeled as um, unscented because unscented typically means that the company has added a fragrance to it to take the scent away, so it's a neutral scent. So um, things you wanna look for in the stores are products that are fragrance-free. You wanna just avoid the fragrances altogether. Okay, so um, this is just, just be reminded that um, these things that we use, these xenoestrogens that, in, that disrupt our, our hormone system, that wreak havoc, especially on our estrogen, they can be responsible for early onset puberty in our children, for endometriosis, infertility, and so many cancers. And it's just, we have so many um, people who have been affected by cancer and the statistics are like all over the board. You can do all kinds of research to see anywhere as like one in four women will have cancer in their life. I've seen even higher statistics than that. Um, it's just absolutely infuriating to think that if we have some control over this, why aren't we exercising that control? Okay, so I've got some notes just in case I forget what I want to say. So we do have choices. And going back to those um, coupon clipping days of mine, I thought my choices were based on cost, so that I could choose a product because it cost less. And I didn't realize that the choices that I was making for um, cleaning my home, products that I was putting on my skin, on my children's skin, were potentially causing some problems for their futures and for my future. 
So um, once I started realizing that there were other options, my eyes were opened and now I'm just kind of on this crusade to share with others because I love you. And I feel like um, maybe if I didn't know and I didn't care, then maybe some of you don't know. Maybe some of you aren't in a place where you care. And hopefully hearing these words will encourage you to do some research and to take um, some control over the products that you are choosing to bring into your homes. All right, so when you start engaging in natural remedies and you start to realize that essential oils can play a big part in um, being like that part of that wellness puzzle, and people are deciding to, they're seeking truth, they are believing that they deserve better, we deserve better for ourselves, we deserve better for our children, Lord knows. Um, our children today are exposed to far more than we were exposed to when we were children. I mean, on average, the average woman will apply over 300 chemicals to her body every single day, like toxic chemicals. And most of them happen even before you step out of the bathroom to start your day. And if you think back to the times when our um, grandparents and our great grandparents were around, our 300 toxic chemicals that we're putting on our bodies every day was probably more than they were exposed to in their lifetime. And then you think of our children every single day from the time they're infants, they're bathed in um, soaps in the hospital that, that have ingredients in them that their little skin should not be coming in contact with. From day one, there are actually even studies that show that the um, umbilical cord blood from a brand new baby is full of whatever the mom was exposed to. So our babies are being born exposed to whatever mom's putting in and on her body. And I think we all need to just wake up and do a little something about that. So this is about being empowered. This, this is not today about teaching you how to use essential oils. That can go on and on. There's so much to know and so many wonderful things you can do with oils. I mean, these cute little bottles are absolutely adorable and they do so many wonderful things. But I just wanted today to share with you some, um, just to open, help open your mind and just reach some realization that maybe now's a good time to start paying attention to what you're choosing to bring into your homes. So one of the easiest things that you can do is download an app on your phone called Think Dirty. It's free and it can scan, you can either barcode scan your products or you can type in the name of your product and it'll give it a rating on a scale of zero to 10. 10 is being the dirtiest it's possible and zero is awesome. So if you're scanning your products and you're getting threes and fours, you're doing great. If you are scanning products and you're getting fives and higher, you've got some work to do. So I would say get that app and open up your kitchen cabinet and just start scanning some of your cleaning products and see what you got under your sink. Um, just know that it's, this is baby steps. Like most of us can't afford to just clear out our entire home and throw everything in the trash and start over right now. But what you can do is just start with awareness and um, just being just being familiar with the products you're using and then start switching things out. As you run out, replace it with something better, something healthier. Um, so how does like Young Living tie into all of this? Young Living is a company with such high integrity for their products. They put ingredients in that are safe, plant-based, infused with essential oils. So not only are they, um, they great for the environment and great and non-toxic, but the ingredients are helping our bodies to to um, function at their optimal capacities. It's more than just an essential oil company. I mean, yeah, I showed you these cute little bottles and they sure are cute and I've got my fair collection of them and they do amazing, wonderful things for me and my family and we use them every single day. But Young Living also has cleaning products, makeup products, um, skincare, hair care, things for your pets, things for your babies. I mean, it's like this company is a full on wellness company and even supplements. So if you use supplements regularly, I would encourage you to check out what Young Living has. And most people, when they get started with Young Living, they choose to become a member by purchasing a starter kit. I'm just gonna real quick you show you what one of the starter kits looks like. There's several options, but one of them is with a diffuser. Isn't this pretty? And then this diffuser comes with a gorgeous box that has 11 of like super popular essential oils in there. There's another whole layer down here in the bottom. You get a sample of the household cleaner too, which is awesome. And some Ningxia Red, which is the superfood drink. So this is one way that most people choose to get started with Young Living. This kit is $160. There is a makeup kit for $150. There is um, 
uh, Thieves Cleaner Kit and Ningxia Red Kit. There's all kinds of options to get started, but once you get your starter kit, that in that um, gives you a membership. So kind of think like Costco or Sam's Club, you have to purchase your membership like annually to renew it. Once you get a starter kit with Young Living, you are automatically a wholesale member like forever. And if you choose never to order again, then your account just sits there inactive. And if at some point down the road, you decide you'd like to reorder again, you can, you just have to reactivate your account and it's no big deal. So the best way to get started with Young Living is to get one of these starter kits. All right, and um, we can chat about that too because there's so many different ways, so many different kits that you can get. I'd be happy to chat with you and help you figure out which one makes the most sense for you and what your health goals are. So I wanna leave you with this challenge. Um, download that Think Dirty app, all right? Make that first step, awareness. Just go scan some of your products. Scan your shampoo, scan your conditioner, your lotion, your toothpaste, your um, dryer sheets, your laundry detergent, your hand soaps, your dish soaps, dishwasher, all the things. Just scan them and just be aware of what you have in your home. And then let's chat, okay? Uh, thank you so much for hanging out and watching me today. I told you I would keep it short and sweet and um, I just appreciate you um, spending some time with me today. All right, everyone take care.